First off, a lighter and more dependable assault rifle than the M16 was created in 2002 by the Alliantec Systems team in the US. Interestingly, the German company Heckler's American subsidiary took part in the project, and the guns you see on display are built using the German HKG 36 rifle as a framework. Specifically, it uses 556 by 45 mm NATO rounds and includes 100 round barrel magazines in conjunction with 30 round Bax magazines. The rifle's weight was deliberately decreased using plastics to the point where one of the variants weighed only 5.7 pounds. The design of the weapon is also on a module basis wherein three quick change barrels and several stocks are available. Unfortunately, the XM8 program was suspended in 2005, even though full manufacturing was scheduled to begin in 2006. The Royal Malaysian Navy, however, chose to use the XM8 weapon with its Pascal Special Warfare Forces. Up next, the German armament experts at Rain Metal present a complete variety of combat core components for a variety of equipment. The French, Canadian, and Belgian forces have already purchased more than a thousand units from Ryan Messel. Furthermore, almost any vehicle can be installed and a small field ranger light variant weighs only 165 pounds. The company additionally provides a variety of autonomous vehicles with pre-mounted field ranger modules. As you'll see, the multiple versions can be mounted with the rocket launcher in addition to other armaments like a 40mm automated grenade launcher and a big caliber machine gun. At 2.5 miles, the module you are currently looking at independently located the target, requested permission from the operator, and then fired it with a 70mm rocket. Next. Let's take a look at this large caliber sniper rifle by Hungarian specialists which features a bullpup configuration that fires smoothly without recoil. This weapon fits easily into a hunting backpack with its measurements 44 inches long in the shooting position and 37 inches long in the carrying position. It approximately weighs 25 pounds without ammunition due to its aluminum and plastic materials. The basic cartridge is 12.7 by 99 millimeters, but the barrel can be modified to use 12.7 by 108 millimeters. This rifle's compact size makes it perfect for eliminating forces and targets with minimal armor. Most importantly, its maximum shooting range is 5,249 feet, and it can pierce helicopter armor at a range of up to 1,968 and a half feet. If you're fond of watching action in sci-fi films, you may be familiar with this incredible weapon, which has two side-by-side -side M1911 pistols combined into a single body and has not just one, but two 8-round firearm magazines put together by a single base. Without ammunition, this weighs about 4.2 pounds. Remarkably, this weapon was first shown in 2012 after six long months of creation by Arsenal Firearms. What's fascinating about this one is that it's good for 38 Super and 45 ACP cartridges that can be used for self-defense, target shooting, and more. However, along with the pistol's distinct appearance and features, its usage also comes with difficulties for firearm experts. With interest, Jerry Michalik, a renowned shooter in the world, dual wielded this pistol in 2015 with undeniable speed of firing 20 rounds in just one and a half seconds. Whoa, amazing right? Well, there's more to fill your curiosity. Here, a little 22 LR Bopa pistol is shown. Trying to jump forward, sales were unsuccessful due to designs and inefficiency but the distinctive development work is undoubtedly noteworthy. Although the bolt is inside a frame, reloading is carried out from the outside. The two cocking handles that are situated above the muzzle are the secret. That's exactly why it's important to go into depth about them. The first method is referred to as a zip load. The bolt snugs the first round in a magazine when pressed. The cartridge then enters the chamber when your finger is removed from the bolt. Then, the zip restrike is the second. Without removing the cartridge from the magazine, 
pressing the button causes the firing pin to cock. In the event of a misfire, this function is helpful. The cannon specifically measures 7.3 inches in length and weighs approximately a pound. The possibilities for customization are one of the key elements of this one. The gun can have modifications installed, and it can be mounted on another gun face. Finally, here are some things you should know a Kalashnikov is capable of. If you have the necessary time, money, and inventiveness, you can make the Double Star Zombie X AK-47 model look more like a keen weapon and straight out of fiction. It has an electric chainsaw integrated into it and the rifle's main purpose is to fend off zombie assaults. Whoa! The zombie invasion theme has after all long been a fascination. Even the SHOT Show, the biggest trade exhibition for firearms and hunting gear has included it. But the website is presently offline despite the team's claim to produce a miniseries for around $1,500. That chainsaw certainly has the appearance of a toy, but a real patrol station would make the scene much more interesting. Wouldn't you think so? Wait, let's pause for a while. So far, how are you finding the previous weapons? Let me hear your thoughts in the comments section. So, I hope you have room for more because there are still a lot of weapons coming at you. The Israeli Gilboa Snake Automatic Rifle is the next weapon we'll be examining which was featured for the first time in 2012. The designers strove to make it more compact while also boosting its capacity and they were successful in doing so. The designers took the AR-15 platform and tweaked it, adding a second barrel and altering the technical specifications of the weapon rather than creating it with the new ammo options, magazines, and so on. Surprisingly, the rifle is still capable of firing 556 by 45 mm NATO rounds, but it is now more compact because of the shorter barrels and detachable stock modifications. The rifle's entire length is 31 inches and its weight without magazines is around 11 pounds. In 1954, American inventor David Dardick designed a very similar weapon. By fusing the benefits of a handgun and a revolver into one small body with few moving parts, he attempted to create a hybrid weapon. The words triangle and round are combined to form the name Tround. The cartridge is the element of the design that will fascinate you the most. The bullet was totally sunk in the polymer case, which is a transverse cross-sectional shape that is triangular with rounded corners and sides and was made with two calibers. Versions with 22 and 38 Dardic and 3 firearms were made available, namely the 10 round model 1100, the 11 or 15 round model 1500, and the 20 round model 2000, all of which were unfortunately not launched. Dardic also tried to modify the ammo for automatic weapons and even quick firing jet guns. However, the idea never gained traction since the cartridges frequently split and were seen as difficult to reload on their own, making the system, sad to say, ineffective. US researchers at MB Associates set out to create a very effective low noise weapon in the early 1960s. Their suggestions were utilized in the Gyrojet, a rocket launcher. The weapon is a miniature rocket launcher that fires tiny rockets as its ammunition and was also an extremely quiet weapon. However, its accuracy fell short at 328 feet as the producer projected a dispersion of 7 to 10 feet. The gun was also renowned for regularly misfiring even in optimal conditions. In every 100 shots, there was at least one misfire. In 1968, the American government found a solution to this. The Gyrojet fired cartridges that were 13 by 50 millimeters in size since the civilian sector forbade weapons with a caliber larger than 12 millimeters. The company finally stopped producing because the cost of the change in caliber was too high. One more intriguing American invention is the pistol made for the civilian market that uses 22 WMR rimfire rounds. With its low power cartridges, it is appropriate for small game hunting and target practice. With its much reduced recoil, it is also appropriate for self-defense. 
without the magazine, the rifle weighs roughly a pound and measures 7.9 inches in length. Polymer is used to create the magazine latch, trigger safety lever, casing, and frame. Two components of the frame are put together and fastened with nuts and bolts with socket heads. Essentially, the PMR-30 is a straightforward and light handgun with a large capacity magazine that allows a full rapid shooting. Here is an AK-12 assault weapon made in Russia in a big caliber. It is regarded as a superb option for short and even shorter distances and was created to meet the demands of the special forces of the Russian Federal Security Service. Without a silencer, the weapon weighs 11 and a half pounds and exhibits a bulk-up appearance. The effective range for this weapon is 984 to 1140 feet and the firing rate is 650 pounds per minute. It's made to work with ST's 130 cartridges that measure 12.7 by 55 millimeters and are suited for this weapon with a variety of bullet types. In particular, the armor piercing version is hazardous to certain less armored vehicles in addition to the feature of cutting through most protective vests. There is also a model with an integrated under barrel grenade launcher. Since 2010, the weapon has been manufactured. Now we have the OSP-30 flare gun. Variants of night and day as well as unique 12 gold flares were made for it. If the user wishes, the pistol can also be equipped with lead bullets. The gun is a development of a previous design from 1926. The addition of a cylindrical coil spring, the modification of the grip angle, and the simplification of the design which made the gun more durable and affordable are the most significant modifications to this weapon. The cannon measures 9.8 inches in length and weighs about 2.4 pounds when empty. At the time, many replicas were produced and you can get them online with ease nowadays. The pricing range is between $700 and $800. Hey, here's a pleasant treat for Alien Saga fanatics. The Armat M4-1A Pulse Rifle, one of the most iconic sci-fi weapons since 1986, is displayed on the screen. If you didn't know, it appeared in the TX Robot's arsenal of weaponry in Terminator 3. James Cameron personally created the weapon, and British experts Simon Atherton and Andrew Fletch put it together. A Thompson M1A1 submachine gun, a Heckler MP5 submachine gun, and the Remington 870 rifle are among the authentic weapons whose parts were used in the design. Incredible, right? The final version of the structure was rather heavy because it was made by a company that produced vehicle bodies. Therefore, a lighter version had to be created to save the performers from having to put in extra work after the film. Unfortunately, most of the reproductions were taken apart. However, there are other copies made by professionals from across the world and one rifle has survived to the present day and is on exhibit in Leeds, UK at the Royal Armouries Museum. There are also numerous reproductions produced by professionals from throughout the world. Alright, now that you have seen those incredible creations, what are your thoughts on those weapons? Did it fill your curiosity? Perhaps a particular weapon piqued your interest. Let it out and type it in the comments section. In the diverse and rapidly advancing world we live in, one would say there's always room and time for development and more brilliant inventions. Because every society strives to have the most cutting edge and effective arms to preserve its interests, combat has produced one of the biggest technological innovations. The most recent and greatest developments in military technology and future armament which some appear to be inspired by science fiction, portray a frighteningly accurate picture of the future of battle. For more cool technologies, hit subscribe, and together let's learn more about the amazing creations here at Omega Tech.